Yeah, just a quick video uh, showing how to adjust the transmission. There's a couple ways you can do it, you guys. Um, now, if you got the old style transmission with the metal deal here, if this part's metal, then pretty much the only way you can adjust your transmission is in the slide here. And you can see how this one is adjusted nicely. We got the same gap forward and backward. So when you push it forward, it engages. We got a little gap up front there. And a little gap in the back and it's of course when it's in neutral the the wheels uh, spin freely so we know it's properly adjusted so that's how you would adjust it in the slide or using the slide you know obviously these are oblong holes you can adjust your adjust it with these two screws so but what I always do if you got these newer plastic style transmissions is adjust the forward first like this one here i can tighten this up a little bit more if i want like you see how there's quite a bit of movement there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to loosen these two screws and then i'm going to move this handle spring slightly forward and i mean just a tad bit um along the slide here so just move this this black metal part here forward just a touch and then tighten these screws down and i'm going to try to shorten how much that slide travels forward so let me do that real quick okay so we just moved that uh this handle spring forward about an eighth of an inch if you look at those oblong holes now we got a little bit more of the hole showing here so you can see where I moved it forward just a touch now if you look at that travel look how short that is I mean that's real that's what I call a real tight transmission now you don't want to go too far because you don't want it to grab we want to make sure it still has a neutral position when there's no pressure on the handle the wheel should never ever you know rotate forward or backward when the machine is running if you're not pushing or pulling on it so so this is a real tight but the problem is now the reverse is weak you can see how i can actually you can hear the slide hitting the back of the the frame there well how do you fix that well it's actually really easy so the reverse you can adjust using these two screws here so what I'm going to do is tighten those up, and it don't take much. It'll probably take a half a turn on each screw to tighten up that reverse. So let me do that real quick, and I'll show you. Okay, so we went ahead and tightened up these two screws about three quarters to almost a full turn. I got a little more out of them than I thought. Uh, this is the older style plastic transmission here. And it's got the finer thread, so it took a little more turning. The, the newer ones are real coarse thread. And you only have to turn them a quarter to maybe a half a turn to adjust them. But either way, it doesn't matter. You'll, you can play with that. So yeah, I went ahead and tightened those up about three quarters of a turn. And if you look now, how tight that reverse is. We just got maybe an eighth of an inch that way. Eighth of an inch forward. And you always have to have some kind of play. I mean, if it's too tight, your back wheels will just constantly spin and you'll wear out these clutches. So uh, whenever you're not, you know, putting any pressure on the handle, just turn that. You should be able to always turn your Kirby on, lift up the back of it with it in drive, and the wheel shouldn't be turning, even with the machine running, unless you put pressure on the handle. So we're going to test that right now. We'll fire it up lift up on the back of it and make sure our wheels stop spinning when we release you know like obviously it engages but it should as soon as i let up those wheels should stop turning same with reverse they'll be spinning as soon as i let go those wheels should stop so let's see if that happens here
Okay, that's perfect. No complaints on that at all. So yeah, I, I just I just find that if you adjust it to where you got about an eighth inch forward, eighth inch of movement backward from your centering position. So again, eighth inch that way, center, another eighth inch that way in reverse. They seem to really be tight that way. It'll be less wear and tear on the slide because it's not moving so much. And the biggest thing is it'll push really easy. I mean, this Kirby, barely have to push on that handle. It'll go forward, barely have to pull it back. It'll come backward. It's going to be a nice, tight, smooth transmission. So just a little tidbit. Again, this only applies to these plastic uh, transmissions here. So yeah, if you got metal back here, if this is all aluminum, like on your, you know, anything older than like a diamond edition, you're not going to be able to do it unless you replace this. Because the reason I say that is it's got the screws on the metal ones also, but they will snap off if you try to tighten them. The plastic ones, they won't snap off usually. So actually, I've never snapped off a screw on a plastic one, so... The metal ones, 90% of the time, these screws will snap off, and that's frustrating. So, yeah, if you got a metal one, just adjust it in your slide here using your handle spring and these two screws and just adjust it. And you're going to have excess play in order to get reverse and forward equal. Uh, it's just like how this one started out. You know, it had a little more movement either way. And it's still, it's going to work fine that way. But this is just going to be so much tighter, and it's it's going to really, you're going to feel a difference when you're done. So just a little tidbit. Thanks for watching.